welcome back and welcome to part one of this week's charity shop pickups. It's Wednesday morning and the reason I'm recording this as part one is because I'm going to Bridge End today um, to spend the night with Lex so we're going to do some more charity shopping but since I had half an hour spare I thought I'd show you what I picked up when I was out with Caroline yesterday. Do I need to zoom in a bit? I think I will. A little bit better I think. Okay so we went to Burnham on Sea yesterday, Caroline and I, and as you know, I am supposed to be on a bit of a buy-in ban, so I was really, really restrained. I was quite proud of me. Caroline, not so much. Caroline filled her trolley and was considering using up the space remaining in my trolley. <laughs> but we did okay between us, and I'm pleased with the few bits that I did pick up. Like I said, buying ban, buying ban. Firstly, I picked up this. This is not for resale. This is for me. It is a really nice heavyweight brass jeweled hair clip. It's got a little bit of that kind of green that you get on brass. I think it's called verdigris, isn't it? But apparently you can get that off with tomato ketchup. So I'm going to have a go at that. That's for myself after, I, after I've cleaned it, obviously. It was £1.50 in a pop-up charity shop that was for some kind of animal rescue place. Their prices were a bit exotic. Um, some of the bric-a-brac prices were kind of, wow, are you sure? But you do you. Okay, so that was the only thing I bought in there was the hair clip for £1.50. Oh, it's Western Hospice Care. It's the Western Hospice Care clearance shop. So it's where they sell, send stuff and then it's all half price. So this was £2 instead of 4 It is a double duvet cover. If you recognise this pattern, please do give me a shout because it looks so familiar to me. It's not a dormer one. If that's any help to anyone trying to recognise the print, it's not a dormer bed set. It might be Marks and Spencers. I can't find a label inside with the um, brand name, which makes me think it's probably not Marks and Spencers because I think they usually label everything. But, um, but yeah, if you recognise the pattern, do let me know. It's kind of a, I don't know, roses and lavender and ribbons. So if you recognise that, let me know, please. That was £2. This is for me. This was in the... What was this in? This was in St Margaret's Hospice, I think. I'm not sure about where I got anything today, if I'm brutally honest. But this is for me, and it is a laundry bag. So I when I did my, when I did my bedroom ready to swap rooms back 18 months ago, I bought a laundry basket, a square one with a lid. It was a bad choice. Because what I do is I put stuff on top of the lid all the time. I pile stuff on the lid of it and then I can't be bothered to move the stuff that's on the lid to put the laundry in the basket. And so I throw the dirty laundry all over the floor and then I cross on myself. So that, that plainly is not the solution. So I've got myself this, which is a laundry bag and it says on it, laundry today or naked tomorrow. Quite, that, that was quite fun. This will hang on the back of the door and I will bring the laundry basket in here and use it to store my fabric for sewing because that's um, just piled up under the desk. So nothing will be wasted. And it will also stop me just piling up stuff on top of the laundry basket lid that should be put away. It's sheer laziness. I walk into the room and I go, I should put this away. I'll put it there. It's not away. It's just there. So that was that was three pounds fifty, which I probably wouldn't have paid that if I wanted to resell it because it probably wasn't much more than that when it was new. But I was quite happy to pay that to have it for myself. I can't find a maker's name in there. But yeah, laundry today or naked tomorrow. And then in the children's society, I got two bed sets. Well, two one bed set and one duvet cover this is groovy chick now there was a bit of a groovy chick revival this was massively popular in the early 2000s groovy chick my daughter had groovy chick everything and and it was hugely popular and then there was a bit of a revival last year or the year before with all the students going potty for it presumably because they were all the students are kind of my daughter's age and they were reliving their childhoods whether it's still got popularity or not i don't know but it was 2.99 so i went for it single duvet cover and pillowcase 2.99 this is the other bed set I picked up. I say bed set, I think it's just a duvet cover. There's no pillowcase with it. But this is Dorma. And it's um, Country Diaries from the Dorma Country Diary range. And this was also 2 99 Shame no pillowcases. But you can't have it all. 2 99 for that one. It's going to be very small, this part of the hall, which is why I thought I'd do two parters and come back and do the rest after I've been to Bridge End. One ninety nine in the Children's Society for this one. This is a sea salt scarf 
I do really really well with sea salt stuff and even scarves will usually sell for a happy tenner so it's um it's quite long quite long 1.99 for that one they all have names as well all sea salt stuff the um the line has a name and this is where is it this is a great wood scarf great wood scarf I used to go to a camp in the Quantocks when I was a kid called Great Wood Camp. Had an absolutely fantastic time there, several years running. Just a summer camp. Brilliant fun. Great Wood Camp. I also got, where was this? I think this was the Children's Society as well. It was a pound. It is a Johnson Brothers Born to Shop mug and it says, I'm on a gin and tonic diet so far I've lost two days. I've sold this one several times before so always happy to pick those up. St Margaret's Hospice provided me with a pack of Cloverleaf summer chintz coasters which look like that funny story not particularly hilarious story yeah you know, don't don't sit on the edge of your seats but i sold a set of melamine summer chintz coasters on ebay this week and um set of six coasters sold them sent the pack to them sent them no problem got a message from a lady saying thank you so much for the really quick dispatch there's only five you said there were six. Have you still got one lying around at home? Did it get it? Did it escape during the packing process? So I thought, oh, did it? So I got my bric-a-brac box out and I thought, no, no coaster there. And then I thought, when I packed them, I don't remember there being a space, in, an, an obvious space in the canister that they go in. I got the listing out. Sure enough, there's only five in the photograph, but I have mentioned six in my title and I think they do come in sets of six. So I emailed the lady back. She's my mum is livid. She's she's storming around saying that Oh, she knew she should never buy on eBay or eBay. I said, I'm, I'm, honestly, it's just a mistake. I don't know how I failed to count to six. I should be able to manage counting to six at the age of 47. Um, anyway, I, uh, I apologised and said, you know, she was more than, more than welcome to send them back for a full refund. And then she said, oh, no, she says, why should she pay to send them back? And I was like, no, 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 I'll pay for you to send them back. It's not a problem. At this point, she said, no, she's calmed down now. She said, she's not bothered at all and I should leave you good feedback. So she did. I refunded part of the money anyway. So I sent her a 50% refund because it was my mistake. <laughs> it was my mistake. And now, when I list coasters in future, I shall very carefully count to six and count to six again and get my fingers and toes out to check. But they were summer chintz and so maybe the same lady will buy these. Who knows? I'll make sure I count them before I send them. And then the last three things I picked up, which were also in the Children's Society, I think, was three books. These were a pound each. I got an Agatha Raisin for me. This is Pushing Up Daisies. ka -ching. This is Agatha, uh, MC Beaton, Agatha Raisin, Pushing Up Daisies. Don't think I've read this one. I thought I'd read most of them, but when I read the blurb for this one, it didn't sound familiar. So, And then I got a copy of the Fast 800, which I've sold a few times. This is a popular diet at the moment, so um, that one will go on eBay. And I got one of the Disney Twisted Tales books, which I've sold a few of as well, as, as well. So they were a pound each. That's it. That is the haul and all of this part of the haul. I'm off to Bridge End today with Josh and Lex and we're going sourcing to probably today and tomorrow. So there definitely will be more charity shop pickups from this buying ban, of, this failure of a buying ban person before this video ends. So I'll see you in a bit, probably in a different outfit and maybe with different hair. Who knows? I mean, it'll still be my head. See you in a bit. And in the blink of an eye, as if by magic, here I am, back again. Lovely two days in Wales. We did the Bridge End Charity Shops on... What day is it today? Today's Friday. We did the Bridge End Charity Shops on Wednesday, and then we did Porth Call on Thursday. So let me show you. I've got my bag ready to put it in. Let me show you what I got. What's that? What, what's happening here? I don't know. Okay. In the, I don't know what it's called because it's a Welsh name and it's like Chlisnine, I'm so sorry Wales, I'm so sorry, it's L-L-Y-S, new word, N-I-N-I, Chlisnine, Chlis, I'm sorry Wales, in there, 50p for this National Trust, His Lordship mug, these go for there's a there's a her ladyship one as well and the pair go for 20 hopefully 10 might be 8 50p for that one um also in there i bought this for myself i got my clothing wrong as usual always seems to be when i go away from home i what i get the, i i predict the weather wrongly and always end up wearing the wrong thing and i was boiling hot 
in what I'd got on. So I saw this and bought it for me to wear. It is yours clothing. I think it was four ninety nine. Might have been five ninety nine. Obviously, I took the tag off because I put it on and wore it. However. It's just a very, very long line orange top. However, it's got cold shoulders, which I didn't realise when I bought it. I don't like a cold shoulder. And after I put it on, in the middle of Bridge End Town Centre, in front of everybody wandering past, I'm walking around in it and I'm catching sight of myself in mirrors and shop doorways, reflections, and I'm thinking, I look an absolute state in this. It was absolutely shocking on me. <laughs> And my friends obviously let it, my friends and my daughter letting me walk around looking like a massive orange Teletubby. So we're about three shops later I took it back off and put my hot clothes back on. That'll be going on eBay. <laughs> it's all a bit jumbled. So this one was definitely, these were definitely Bridge End. These were in the, I think it's called Far, Far Place, Far Escape. Lex would know. It's an animal charity anyway. It's the one that Josh was really looking forward to going to. They are Converse. When I got home and uh, they were five pounds and I was like, oh, I'm sure I can get more than five pounds. So definitely can because they are the Chuck Taylor twos, which are rarer and more hard to come across. And they are reflective camo and some are selling for 50 to 70 quid. So they were a definite, nice, unexpectedly good pickup. I thought I might get 20, 25. So if I get 70, even if I get 50, I'll be delighted out of a fiver. They're a size nine, by the way. I realised in the last video when I was showing shoes that I bought, I wasn't telling people the sizes. And if you guys are interested in them, you need to know what size they are. So those are a nine. And the orange top is a size, I think it was a 26, might have been a 28. Didn't look good on me. Doesn't mean it won't look good on you. So 26 to 28. So, okay. In, I think... I think British Heart Foundation in Bridge End. I picked up two boxes of Penguin Classics. Way back in the early days of me being full-time reselling, I picked up two Penguin Classics box sets, but they were much bigger than this. They were, they were much more, I think it was 30 in each. And I paid five pounds for the two. There was one book missing, which I had to pay another five pounds for to complete the set. I bought that off eBay, but I sold the two sets for 130 quid. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, if the other ones were worth that, perhaps these were. These are not so great. If I'm lucky, I'll get 20 quid for these two, but there are some duplicates and I cannot, yeah, as yet, I have had a quick look, but not much. As yet, I cannot find out what books are meant to be in them. So I don't know if they're mixed up together. I don't know why I've got duplicates because I certainly haven't got two identical sets. So I need to do a bit more research, find out what's meant to be in each box before I know how I'm going to sell them and what I'm going to sell them for. I paid £2 each for them. There'll be more than £2 each in them, but I don't know how much. I don't think they're going to be 130 quid's worth, though. I picked up some Cloverleaf coasters. These are hunting scenes. They were £2. Hunting scenes always go well. I also spotted in a different charity shop some hunting scenes placemats but I handed over those over to Lex. Lex had those. A little bit short on stock storage space at the moment so yeah placemats I've got a few of. So yeah hunting scenes and they're always popular. I don't know what I'll get for them but it will be more than two quid. Are we still in Bridge End? I don't think we're in Bridge End anymore Toto. We are still in Bridge End. This was in the uh, Emmaus this is a vintage Laura Ashley. It's not very, very vintage. It's not hugely exciting, but it's a nice print. Nice grey leaf print. Uh, Laura Ashley Country Range, made in Macau. Now, one of the good things about Laura Ashley is you can date the pieces by where they were made. Um, and there is a very nice Laura Ashley archive online that helps you do that. So I'll be able to find out exactly what era this is. And it was four ninety five. Lex, Lex found that one and pointed out to me. She's not really doing clothing anymore. So she also handed me this number. This is a horror, but somebody will want it. No offence if it's you, Joseph Ribkoff, three ninety five. It's just a medium. I really, really struggle to understand why the higher end brands tend to do small, medium and large as though that's an all encompassing size that anyone can get on board with. You know, if you're a high end brand, surely you could put the effort into actual sizing. Anyway, Joseph Ribkoff, it has a lace trimmed trumpet sleeve, has a lace trimmed edge, 
it has an elasticated neckline which I would never get on with I'd be like Ehh. and 3.95 probably into 20 hopefully for that one this was this was in the YMCA charity shop and it is a vintage shell suit jacket it's horrific. Some research amongst the ladies, bless them, have, have established that that's Avate. The brand is called Avate. I might get 20 for it. I paid four, I think, but just look how bloody awful it is. I'm sure we were all trotting around in those. In, the, in fact, I know we were all trotting around those in the late 80s and early 90s, the, the time that style forgot. Those were Porthcall. This was Porthcall. That's all Porthcall. This was in the this was in the Emmaus, this was two pounds. It is the Boppet XT. I do alright on Boppets, two quid should get profit on that. And the good thing about a Boppet, of course, is if they've left the batteries in it, you can check whether it works. One on one. One on one yourself. Natalie's very good at the Boppet, I can't keep up my brain. Shush! My brain doesn't work fast enough. Also in there, I was on my oh no, sorry, I'm telling you. Will you be quiet? Coming out of the British Heart Foundation, I spotted this and went back for it. It's just a little Kipling bag. It unfortunately has no shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is missing and it has no monkey, which presumably is why it was only 2 99 But it's still quite a nice little bag for a handheld grab. 2 99 I should easily hopefully get a tenner for that, even without a shoulder strap and no monkey. This is from the Bernardos, I think it is, in, in Bridgend. Nice Christmas Costa cup, that was a pound I would hope to get at least a tenner. Some of them go for 20, but if you couldn't find this one, that means obviously that it's very, very rare and worth a fortune. That's how that works. And I can't actually remember... Oh no, these were also in Emmaus. They were... All the mugs in Emmaus were 50p or 3 for a pound. I could only find these two that I wanted, so I found Josh one for Josh as well that he'll take home and put in a bundle. So these are Dunoon and they are the Whirly Girlies range. They're not massively sought after. Some of the Dunoon brightly coloured ranges like this are very, very, uh, very collectible. These aren't massively sought after, but I've got two. I've got Happy and Bossy, and I'll probably list the pair for 12, maybe. And then I think we're into Porth Call. I did not buy a lot in Porth Call. I'm very much aware that I am on a buying ban. And also very much aware that today I have to go and pick up my bulk buy clothing sacks from, from the charity shop. So I was kind of like, you know, just dial it back on the buying now. I did get a couple of bits, but nothing massively exciting. I got a Johnson Brothers Summer Chintz gravy boat. And it does have the stand. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't very much. It was a couple of quid, maybe 2 99 but yeah, so matching stand. This, oh, it is two ninety nine. It's on this side. There we go. There's the price sticker. So the summer chintz is um, obviously similar to the eternal bow, with the same kind of era as the eternal bow. It's slightly less common than the eternal bow, but it is still collected. People do still collect it. So that was nice for two ninety nine. We met up with Joan Morris, hi Joanie Joan, and when we were in one of the little charity shops, I could not tell you where it was, it was wherever I got this. I got some nail varnish for myself, but she also spotted this little file of facts. She said to me, are these these things that you buy? And I said, yes they are, and she didn't seem to want to buy it, so I bought it. It's a file of facts Saffiano, and it was 149. It The Saffiano isn't a huge bolo, the... Um, the Saffiano Zip, the compact Saffiano Zip, if you find that one, that one's a lovely one to get. That one looks like a kind of a large purse. It has a zip around it, a whole lot of seals in. And that one's a lovely one if you pick that one up because people use it for cash envelope budgeting. But this one not is, is, is not um, quite as sought after, but still should turn into 10, maybe 15, I hope. In the shops in Porth Call, I got three of my... British Library of Kind Classics, but two of them are duplicates. So I've got two copies of the Z Murders and I've got the Cheltenham Square Murder. I've read all of them before, but they're 99p each. And as you know, I bundle them. This one says 149 on the back and 99 on the front. I definitely paid 99. In fact, I think the books were... 
these ones I paid a pound each and then this one was buy one get one free so Natalie had a book to make us because again there wasn't a second book that I wanted so they will just go into bundles my bag's getting full last few bits a Barbara Hewler Nikki dress where was this it was in the sale on the sale rail outside of the uh what oh, the age uk in puff call barbara hulaniki jersey dress it's got a ruched shoulder it's not very big it's uh i'm not sure what size it is small it was 99p it's a 10 99p it's got a ruched shoulder and then it's got a ruched drape detail at the waist as well which is quite nice for hold, hiding a tum not a tum as much as i've got but if you've got a small tum that you don't like uh LV again not something I would normally pounce at but it was half price so it's down from 4 99 to 2 49 and it is actually brand new with its tag it was reduced in the LV sale to 35 pound 40 so lord knows how much they were charging for it before that but it is a wide three-quarter sleeve cardigan in a kind of a short design I thought I saw a pull on it a moment ago I can't see it now so I'll have to check that very carefully before I list it because I thought I spotted a pull when it was just sitting on the can't see it now I will go over it carefully before I list it and make sure there's no pull in it and if there is a, usually with knitwear if there's a pull you can just work it back through so okay I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the last bit because um the SD card ran out and I'm not sure where so look at this absolute monstrosity it is genuine 80s knitwear it's a brand called Minori which is a designer knitwear brand ice creams and candy and all sorts of horribleness it was four pounds in a little independent charity shop i cannot remember the name but lex would know it but also i bought this which was 120 and i only had a 20 pound note the lady didn't have any small change so she charged me 15. so yeah four pounds for that i have no idea what i can expect to get for it but isn't it bloody awful <laughs> it's absolutely huge as well and then the final item, because that, that box isn't part of this, the final item is an all Achille colouring book. Now this originally retailed for $12.99 in US, $14.99 in Canada. It doesn't say an English price. A couple of them have been coloured in. Um, one or two of them have been done very well. This one, not so well. I'm debating whether to just cut that page out with a sharp knife and then just state that in the listing that I've cut out the pages that have been coloured in or even just to cut out that because the back of this one for example has been coloured in but the back of it has not and that's still a nice picture so I might just take out this one that's been done badly and leave the rest in um no idea no idea of any value on it whatsoever but never seen an all Achille colouring book before so that was different that was a novel thing that's it that's the haul and all of the haul. Before I go, remember if there's anything you've seen in the haul that you're interested in, you can email me on the email address that is underneath this video. You can contact me on Facebook or Instagram, but I'm finding that that's, I'm finding that more difficult to keep up with. Um, messages are going into message requests and I'm not seeing them. Whereas if you come through the email, it always does get to me that way. So that's probably the best way of doing it. Email address is under the video. If there's anything here that you are interested in buying that you want, give me a shout because you might wait a while for it to hit eBay. I've got a backlog going on here. It might be a while before it goes on eBay. So don't hang about, but please don't message me on eBay about items that you've seen on videos if they're not listed on eBay because eBay don't like that. They get cross about that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well and I'll be back soon with more of whatever it is I do here. Take care. Bye for now.